Hey Harbor Kids, it's great to have you with us today. I'm something of a storyteller, and today I want to tell you a story. It's a story about Jesus. You know, born in a manger on Christmas. But it's also a story about shepherds and wise men. You know about them, right? Well, we're going to meet them today. But it's also a story about Sammy and Rachel. And if you listen closely, you might also find it's a story about you. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Where was I? Oh yes, our story begins not long ago at a certain Christmas musical rehearsal. Let's get you right in there. Let's all stand and sing some Christmas carols together. Joy to the world. Okay, everybody, take your places. Let's get ready for the rehearsal. We don't have much time before the Christmas musical, so I need everybody to remember all the words. And whatever you do, don't stand so that you lock your knees. You'll probably faint, and maybe even throw up. Ew! Hey, Rachel, I hope I don't lock my knees and faint. Will you help me remember? Sammy, you don't have knees, remember? 
Oh, yeah? Well, neither do you. That's very mature, Sammy. I can't wait till the Christmas musical. Pastor David said I get to be the star of the show. And you know what that means? It's all going to be about me. Christmas is all about me. The gifts and toys under the tree. Will it be a robot or a new TV? The possibilities go endlessly. I have such a long Christmas list. Shoes for my feet and a watch for my wrist. A day that is totally filled with bliss. Christmas is all about me. What? Oh, Christmas is all about, Christmas is all about, Christmas is all about me. Sammy, are you serious? You think Christmas should be all about you? Um, did I say that out loud? It does sound kind of selfish when you say it out loud like that, but I guess it's true. The most important thing is that I get all the things on my wish list, and if that doesn't happen, I'll be very upset. The next most important thing is that I be the star of the Christmas musical. Um, what's this? It's the star. You stand up on the chair, hold it in front of your face, and stand very still. Oh yeah, and be very quiet. Wait, it was my understanding that I would be the star of the show. What gave you that impression? That was my understanding. Did somebody run this by my agent? Sammy, you don't have an agent. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it's wonderful. Look how pretty that star is. You mean the star that's just going to cover my face the whole time? Yeah, it's so sparkly. Ah, uh, I just love Christmas. I love singing at Christmas, and I love the Christmas play. Christmas just fills me with so much joy. Christmas trees, sparkling lights, this is my favorite time of year. Messiah came, oh holy night, filling the world with hope and cheer. Friends to see and family. I love Christmas, I love Christmas. Gifts to bring and caroling. I love Christmas, I love Christmas. Just forget about it. Christmas is ruined. I'm not the big star of the show. I'm just this silly star up in the sky. This is all supposed to be about me. Ugh. Fine. I'll get up on my chair and I'll hold my star. But I can't make any promises about standing still or being quiet. Quiet, quiet, ha ah, la la. Whoa! It was supposed to be about me. About me. About me. Young man, are you okay? What? Where am I? You were lying here in the wilderness, and we found you. You can travel with us if you like. We are miles from anywhere. Who are you guys? We are wise men from far away, and we are on our way to find the Messiah, the newly born King of Israel. We've been searching for so long. When you look for the Messiah, you can't go wrong. Searching for a king that nobody sought. Most people don't know what they got. There was a birth foretold. Written in a book 
by prophets of old. Now is the time that the prophecy said. So we loaded up the camels and alone we sped. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We travel so far, riding on camels instead of a car. And God is guiding us with a star. Yeah. We've been searching for so long. When you look for the Messiah, you can't go wrong. Searching for a king that nobody sought. Most people don't know what they got. Whoa, you guys are the wise men? Well, what makes you so wise? Well, we have been diligently studying the prophecy of the birth of the great Messiah, the Savior of the world. It is the great pursuit and purpose of our lives. Oh, you mean Jesus! Whoa, I've heard of him too! I think everybody has heard of Jesus! Yes, and if this is the long-awaited king that the world has been waiting for, then it's only right that the kings such as ourselves be the first to go and pay our respect and worship this newborn babe. Wait, you guys are kings? I thought you were just wise men. Oh yes, we are kings. And we are wise. We are wise kings. I am a king. I am a king, you see, that's what it says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 3. I wear a crown, a nice robe and ring. I am accustomed to a lot of bling bling. But I have read of a king to be, he'll be a king much greater than me. If the prophecies we read are true, he is the king of kings. So we bring our best gifts, the finest in all the land. When you go to see a king, you don't go with an empty hand. Here is the gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Anything less would be amateur. We want to bless, bless the king of kings. So you are on your way to greet the new king as well? Uh, no, actually I wasn't. What? I don't know how I got here. I just need to get home. You mean you do not live in this realm? No, I live in a place called Harbor City. Well, wherever this Harbor City is, son, it's a very, very long way away. We have been traveling for a long, long time. When are we going to get there? We've been traveling together for only a few hours. I know, that's so long. No, that's not long at all. Try traveling for many months. That's what we've been doing. Doesn't that feel like it would drive you crazy, riding and walking for that long? Sometimes it begins to feel that way, but you have to just talk or tell jokes or sing and you'll feel better. Hey, I got a joke. Here it goes. So the three wise men brought baby Jesus gold and frankincense. But wait, there's myrrh. Uh, get it? Myrrh. Uh. Hey, were you going to tell a joke? Oh, never mind. Hey, what about him? Oh, he doesn't talk. He hasn't talked for a long time. He doesn't talk? No. You see, all of us have families back home, and we miss our families. But he has a brand new son, 
and he really misses his wife and son a lot. It's been months since he spoke, but he sings sometimes, so I guess that's good. But truth be told, he's actually the strongest of all of us. You know, this journey has been very long and tiring. We've talked about going back quite a few times, and sometimes it gets very hard and lonely. But whenever we talk like that, he just looks up in the sky and gets up and keeps on going. It's like something is pulling him further and further down the road. And without that, we would have gone back home. I wonder what pulls him like that. The star. <gasps> We left our home all at once We've been gone for many months And all we had was the promise of favor But then one night with no other help inside God sent a star to take us to the Savior And I miss my family this was my destiny See the shining face of Jesus And become one of the few To herald the good news That there's hope for everyone God will save us I would have given up long ago Sometimes the journey's low But my dear Faithful star still shines. Oh, star with us abide. Show us God is on our side. He will lead us every day. I know. So, as you've already seen, Sammy is pretty selfish when it comes to Christmas time. And he's probably not alone. There are a whole lot of kids that only think about toys and gifts at Christmas time. Or maybe you could say that the only thing they think about is themselves at Christmas. Such was the case when Jesus was born. All of Israel and all of Bethlehem were only thinking about themselves. And they didn't even bother to remember that the Bible had foretold that he would be born in Bethlehem. And he had to be born outside, in a stable, like in a barn, because nobody would make any room for him. But the wise men knew Jesus was going to be born, and when they got to Bethlehem, they arrived to find that nobody was looking for him, except for them. Imagine, Israel had their king right there in their city, and they didn't even know what they had. You know, kids are sort of like that sometimes, too. They've got a mommy and a daddy and a warm home and even a church to go to, and they don't even know what they've got. Are you like that? I hope not. Before we go on, you could turn to your mom or dad and say, Mommy, Daddy, I sure love you. You could do that right now. Oh, you want me to continue my story, do you? Okay. So the wise men and Sammy had finally found the city where Jesus was born. I believe we have found where the baby Messiah is. The star stopped moving, and it is resting above this place. Surely this must be the city called Bethlehem. And it looks like one of those houses has a fire burning inside. I can hardly contain my excitement. This is the greatest moment of my life. Come, let us go in and see them. Oh boy! <sighs> it is him. 
We have found him. Thank you, God. a fool How could you love me It's a mystery I only wish I had a gift to lay at your feet I never thought that I would see the day Salvation wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in the hay moment to know the presence of the Lord is in this place God of majesty and now we're face to face we're captivated by the power of your grace I'll forever That's when something happened inside little Sammy. Something magical. That's when he finally felt the true meaning of Christmas come flooding into his heart. It was the birth of Jesus, showing God's love and hope to the world. That became the most important part of the season. He had watched the wise men, and he had listened to them. He had so much respect for men that were that important, but still left their homes and traveled many miles to go and worship a king that was far greater than they were. And he saw how much they loved God, and that love poured into Sammy's heart as well. What if God's love poured into your heart this Christmas? What if all of us saw How wonderful it is to worship Jesus for being the greatest gift ever given to us. That would be truly amazing. Well, finally, Sammy and the wise men were getting ready to leave. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. (laughs) Ah! Sammy! Sammy! Are you okay? You fell off the chair and hit your head. I did hit my head. 
but it was because I was so excited to see the baby Jesus. And Mary and Joseph were there, and the wise men? Um, Sammy, you've been right here the whole time. No, I was in the desert with the wise men, and they were riding on camels, and they were singing, and one of them couldn't talk, and then he did. Oh, never mind. Hey, Rachel, I'm really sorry that I was mad before. I was so selfish, thinking that Christmas was all about me, when it's really all about Jesus, because he came to save us. And nobody cared about him when he was born. Whoa! That's really good, Sammy! And I'm really glad I get to be the star of Bethlehem, because the star led people to where Jesus was, and it kept people going when they wanted to give up. I want to be a person like that, to give people hope and keep them going, and bring them to Jesus. Okay, everybody, here we go. Places! It's time to sing. Let's do our best to glorify Jesus and lift him up. Whoa. Whoa. Christmas trees, sparkling lights. This is my favorite time of year. Messiah came on oh, holy night. Christmas time. I love Christmas. I love Christmas time. I love Christmas. I love Christmas Thank you.